Hello everyone, Moo here with another Disney Zoom Zoom video. This one is going to be our second challenge of the month. If you guys remember last Monday I came up with a, a video and an idea that we could host an event or a challenge for ourselves where we would make up the rules for that every single week and we'd have you know some friendly competition, we'd work together towards a mutual goal and uh, you know earn some coins while we were at it. So all in all, a positive experience for everyone that would participate. And uh, one of the incentives last week was that if you ended up winning, you would help me decide on this week's primary rule or primary goal. And uh, our winner last week was Paula. Paula, congratulations. And also thank you for responding to me as quickly as you did. Uh, that basically made it possible for me to get out this video a lot quicker than I had hoped. And uh, again, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And congratulations again. And her idea was for this week that we would use Zooms with a bow. And I want to keep this a coin challenge because that is uh, probably the fairest uh, metric we can use that would basically allow new players uh, to have a chance at winning over the old players and uh, you know we want to encourage that kind of positive competition so it's still gonna be a coin challenge we will have score elements in the future so please do stay tuned for future challenges uh, but again you can use any bonus item you want excluding rubies again to keep it fair for everybody and you have one week from the moment that this video hits the YouTubes uh, to get the highest base coin you can with a zoom that has a bow and it has to be base coin because because, um, again, we want to keep it fair. We don't want to leave it up to the coin bonus lottery. And uh, the only other thing you need to do is post the zoom, the skill level, and the number of base coin you were able to get after a week. Uh, so essentially your best result. And uh, again, this is with the zoom with the bow. And to help you guys out, I put together a little list here. Those are all the zooms that I think... Uh, fall under the bow category there may be more if there are more please do let me know and uh, please also mention that in the comment section for those that may not have all these zooms and uh, you know could use a little bit extra assistance or help uh, with the zooms that they have in their arsenal uh, but I'm not going to give you guys any hints on which one I think is the best coin earner because Again, I only get three shots at this. You guys get an entire week. So uh, any insider information I may have, I'm going to keep to myself for this challenge. I want to have uh, a good entry, you know, a good chance of winning. And uh, what is going to be the prize for winning this week? I was thinking you guys could decide on my new hairstyle when I do get my haircut in a week or so. Uh, but I figured that would be a really, really bad idea, uh, leaving such life-changing things to the internet. It's not going to end well. So we will stick with the original uh, reward. If you guys win this week's challenge, you do get to decide on next week's primary rule. And... Uh, Hopefully that's incentive enough. I do hope you guys participate. And uh, my entry in this, like last week, is going to be with Jessie. I will play her three times, and the, the game that has the highest base coin will be my entry for this challenge. So let's get right into the gameplay. I'll get rid of this uh, Zoom window real quick. Let's see what we can get here. Hopefully I can enter a fairly competitive score or base coin amount, but... Who knows, I'm at the mercy of the game. I only get three shots, so. Come on, Jesse. You need to start appearing on screen. <laughs> okay, this is a little better. Hopefully we can recover from that uh, initial start where she was basically still getting her things together. 
in the dressing room before making her appearance on stage. So our first attempt was 2,802 coin. Uh, not a bad start. Let's see if we can bump that up to about 3,400. That would be uh, ideal with Jesse. Uh, so game two. Let's see what we can do here. Come on, Jesse. You got to show up on screen. I'm counting on you here. Come on. Doesn't help when your swipes aren't registering. And you have to go over the same line of zooms three or four times. Uh, but we still have one more shot at this. Hopefully we can break that 3,000 coin mark. That would be a really good result uh, based on just three games. Come on. Get into fever time. Oh, good. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, getting that time bubble at the last minute. That kind of saved this run a little bit. Uh, so uh, 2,505, our first run was still better. Uh, let's see if we can improve on our first with the last game here. Uh, I do want to get a good result in and hopefully have a chance at winning again so I can decide on next week's rule. Uh, but I, if I don't win, that's okay. I look forward to seeing what kind of ingenious ideas you guys have uh, for the next challenge. And uh, can keep having a lot of fun with this. Oh, it was kind of a waste, but I didn't want to, um, you know, wait for the 
off chance I'd get a smaller Jesse chain, so I opted to just make the larger chain with the large head, which, yeah, was kind of a huge waste, but it is what it is. Can't go back in time now. Let's see if we can recover a little bit. Okay, we get a last bonus and we had one more magic bubble on screen so this is definitely going to be our best run and uh oh and she picked the zoom that had the largest number on screen that almost never happens 3093 coin well that is my entry for this week's event and as a special bonus for watching up to this point which is about 11 minutes uh if you do decide to use jesse and there's one little tip I can give you. It uh, appears to me that uh, as her animation for the circle keeps expanding, there's a point near the end where it no longer expands past its maximum point, but the timer still is there. So if you can essentially release the skill like a split second before it reaches its the end of its animation time you're not going to miss out on the number of zooms it clears but you will save that split second which might help you uh, get off an extra skill or two near the end of the game which is going to make a big difference uh in your coin results so that is my tip for jesse guys and uh you know i hope you have a lot of fun with this event i hope a lot more people join for round two of this and uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do have questions, please do leave them in the comment section below. And as always, I, I appreciate everything you guys have done to, for participating and everything. And uh, have a lot of fun with this. I look forward to seeing your results and see you guys next time.